here to give you my first impression of this 2023 Ford Bronco Raptor. I mean, look at this thing. You don't see me, right? <laughs> you see it. Everywhere I'm going, people are looking at me. That's my first impression. <laughs> Normally, I check this thing out for you guys from home, but I have done a little driving today. So I will keep you in the loop on that. But let's have a look uh, at this a little more closely and see what we think. Wow, this thing is beefy. Oh my gosh, I haven't had much time with it to check it out, but oh my goodness. This one is in code orange, which is crazy. The code orange color I know is the color of the seat belts inside that you can get, I think, on any Raptor. Can you even wrap your mind around this thing? I don't know for sure how much wider it is than a regular Bronco, but look at the front of this thing. It looks like it's gonna eat me for dinner. It's crazy. Can't remember what these are called, but these are necessary to let people know this is a giant truck coming down the road. There probably should be like a pink one or something to let people know there's an inexperienced lady driver. That might be sex. I might have been sexist against my own sex. I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I am an inexperienced lady driver of this giant truck. We also have this super cool Raptor. Um, I, I think that's extra on the package. This uh, sticker set here on the back. Personally, I think that this performance SUV is loud enough in its presence. It doesn't need to be orange and have graphics. I feel like you're just really screaming for attention here. Let's look at these wheels. Wow. So we've got 17 inch wheels and 37 inch tires. So we've got 10 inches of of cushion to get you. I mean, I, I went over some uh, speed bumps, didn't feel it, didn't slow down, didn't feel it. I went over some railroad tracks in the country that I would normally slow down for, didn't slow down, didn't feel it. It was crazy. I mean, this thing, look at this ground clearance. Holy buckets, and there's skid plates all over. You even get this extra tire, and I'm sure these are $500 tires. <laughs> I don't know, but that's just my guess. But I do love it. Uh, for me, you know, I think I, I could shrink it down a little. Uh, we had a Bronco Sport for a while, I think something in between this and a Bronco Sport would be perfect. Uh, but I like the beefiness of this Raptor package as opposed to just the regular Bronco. So if there is a way to keep the beefy stance of this thing and shrink it down a little, that'd be awesome. Put a little shrink ray on there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Look at these fender flares. Oh, and these look like they are actually usable. And so are the ones on the front, on the hood. I noticed, look at that. Look at the top of this hood. It's just amazing. I will say that windshield caught a lot of bugs. <laughs> Definitely kind of straight up and down, catching the bugs. I think this comes off. That part probably gets pretty um, damaged easy if you really use this for off-roading. And you know, I, I guess I do want to say if you're off-roading, yes, get this thing. 
did it. I have been using it for everyday life and I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. All right guys, this is my first trip in the Bronco Raptor and I'm flying down a country road. Just trust me, I'm flying. <laughs> We are inside the 2023 Ford Bronco Raptor and I am taking it out today to just do some normal stuff, not off-road stuff. And I want to let you know my impressions of that. So, so far today I have went a couple places, but I have to tell you, I have a handicap. And today, I feel okay. And normally, unless it's really bad, I won't use that handicap placard um, because there's probably somebody worse than me that needs it. <clears throat> but I went to a gas station today to get my big swig and I couldn't. I didn't feel confident to park in between cars. And so I used the handicap parking, you know, because it's got the two big open sides. And I felt so bad. There was another open spot and luckily it was still open the whole time I was in there because if someone would have taken it and there would have been someone else that needed my spot, I would have felt bad. I already feel like a little bit ridiculous in this truck. <laughs> um, I feel like it is so loud in its presence that it's just screaming at everyone to look at me. And guess what? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want everybody to look at me. Um, especially when I'm going to try to do some parking and stuff with this. I just, I just don't want, I, you know, oh, look at her. She's got a $97,000 vehicle. She can't even drive it. Um, I don't know why I would care what people think about me, but I just feel ridiculous. <laughs> I really do. I'm not going to go through the drive through at Starbucks. I don't know why I'm so scared. This thing is made to rock crawl. So what if I go over a curb, right? I know that I will curb check it. There's no way. This thing is so wide that I can't even tell if I'm on the road, to be honest with you. I, I'm lining up this thing <laughs> that, you, that you tie stuff to. <laughs> on the front of it. I'm lining that up just inside the line um, on the driver's side here and and so far it doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, but like I said this thing is designed to rock crawl so um, who cares if I hit the curb in the drive-thru <laughs> right? But the parking lot here is very small and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna let you watch me and make fun of me as I try to just park like me like I don't know I wish I wish some of you were here to give me a confidence boost <laughs> like I'm just gonna try to park in the pickup 
spots, which are right up front. It's gonna be a super tight squeeze and I feel really nervous. But my point here is, is this high performance sport utility truck monstrosity something you could buy and use for your off-roading fun on the weekends but drive in the city uh you know during the week drive to your job drive wherever okay so i'll give you another angle of how difficult it is for you to get in and out of this monstrous truck all right so i had to pull over and get you guys back on the camera to go to the mall i have an errand to run in there and we're gonna i'm gonna make myself park between two cars we'll see how it goes i'm honestly not excited You know, <clears throat> oddly enough, there was a little guy in a, a Mustang, like, trying to race me. I guess he thought my Braptor was slow, but it actually isn't. I think it's, I think it's uh, under six seconds on the zero to 60, so... It's very quick. All right, guys, I'm gonna do the parking. We had some technical difficulties and my GoPro died. Then I tried to hook up my mics for my phone and they were dead. So hopefully we can get the sound quality okay of me screaming and crying when I run someone over. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm looking around this parking lot and I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find what two cars I, I want to park behind and, or park, park between. And I'm starting to sweat because I feel nervous. So what I'm going to do is just turn you around. I will either point you at the camera um, on the infotainment, which I'm going to try to not look at, um, or I will hold you up over the hood, which probably would be better because then you can see what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> it's a lot of truck. It's a lot of truck. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn you around. Okay. I feel like it's a little unfair because I don't get to have two hands to drive, but okay. Here we go. Uh, uh, all right, I'm going right here. Might be a little unfair because I'm, I feel like I'm coming in at an easy angle. And these are parked far away. Let's see how we did. Oh, a little over to the left. I am really misjudging this. And you can tell because they're pretty far away. And they're Quite a bit closer. <laughs> Should we try again? I mean, maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. I mean, that's that's the my point here today is to try to figure out, you know, how this is for everyday use, how practical it is. It is, which it isn't. It isn't practical. It's not meant to be practical, right? <laughs> but you still have to drive it places. You can't just pick it up and plop it onto a trail, right? And also like how much, you know, trail dri trail driving and rock climbing are you gonna do in a brand new 
$96,000 Bronco. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think it'd be crazy, but all right. Uh, we're still on drive. I'm going to turn you around and let's try it one more time. I feel like a left, oh man, those are so close. Do you think I should brave these? Oh, they're both like on the line. Okay. All right, here we go. gosh okay I did it let's see oh my goodness I'm so far over to the left again how strange I I am really just misjudging this I'm using these tie downs in the front as sort of like markers and I guess if this person is centered I'm still off you know what I mean like it does, it's never guaranteed that that person is parked straight but it, if they are I'm still way over to the left but you know what the point is it's actually much easier than I thought <laughs> Um, I think that being able to see like the whole hood is actually really helpful. And then if I use the camera, I probably can get in even better um, without being so far over to the left. That's so weird. Maybe I should come around. I'm going to come around and park next to this Jeep Rubicon over <laughs> That'll be a good shot uh, for size perspective. Looks like it might be on 37s too. I'm not sure, but uh, that will be a right hand park. So let's try that and see how it goes. I am grateful for this when you back up because actually, I'm still not hardly using it to be honest. I think that's just comes from being like old school pre-camera driving, right? Um, but in the back, you can't see because there's that spare tire mount back there. So it is nice to help back up with the camera. It does make me feel more comfortable. Okay, here's this red jeep rubicon up here park next to this car now definitely i feel like if i couldn't get over here on the left to turn in it'd be hard there's the kid getting in that car there's a kid getting in that car so he ruined my parking fun but I am still going to drive around and just park next to it and s just to get a look at how the size difference. <laughs> and I want to try to see regardless if I can try to get in the center this time. So weird over to the left every time. All right, here we go. Dirt, 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 dirt. Oh, I, I like this Rubicon. That's pretty cute. I mean, not cute. 
cool. Oh, it's very hard to hold the camera. Now I'm definitely, I, I definitely went too far. To be fair, I was trying to hold the camera and park. Now I'm too far to the right, I'm sure of it. I, I'm still not gonna look at the camera. I'm just gonna try to line myself out here. It's, it's unfair because <laughs> there's nobody around me, I know. But day one, and I feel like I can handle this. And that's saying a lot. So, all right, let's see where we're at. Do, do, do. Why do I keep reaching up there? All right. Oh my word! I'm so crooked now! You know what? I think the guy next to me is sort of crooked too. I'm gonna straighten myself out and then I'll do some still shots of us <laughs> part next to this this Jeep. Um, they appear to be maybe even a little bit higher than me. Why do Jeep people put ducks in the dash? I've always been curious about that. Anyway, all right, that wraps it up, guys. I uh, actually have a great handle on this. I've been in the parking spots, right? Like, not outside of the parking spots, but either far to the left or crooked. And, and I'm not even sure, based on the camera, that I'm not, you know, I think that the picture in the camera of the truck is much smaller than what I actually am in the space. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just guessing because it's so wide. So I'm gonna straighten back up, take some pictures. Um, I'm gonna say like half a thumb up for user friendliness, practicality. <laughs> Not a full thumb up, but I do think once you just drive this, even like I, if I drive it this week, I think it'll get much easier, of course, right? So, uh, all right, that's it, my first impression. I actually think it's fun. I'm having fun. I'm comfortable. Um, I'm grateful for the cameras, <laughs> definitely. Um, I'm not enjoying everyone looking at me. They're probably looking at me right now, wondering why I'm parked so crooked. And I pray to sweet baby Jesus that the owner of this Jeep doesn't come out here and see me taking pictures. So I'm gonna hurry up and go. All right, catch you in the next one.